Hey guys, I'm Thailand, and this week I put together a collapsible mobile Meyer sauce stand. It's great if you're working in a small shop or like me, if you're in a garage and you want to be able to push all your tools out of the way once you're done so you can pull the car in. You can head over to BitterRootDIY.com for the full list of plans and a list of your supplies and I'll put the link in the description. I started by cutting all the boards to length. One of my favorite parts of this project is that all you need for lumber is a few 2x4s and one sheet of particle board. You can use plywood for the tabletops if you prefer, but I really like 3 quarter inch particle board for workbenches because it gives you a nice even surface to work on, but it's a little bit cheaper than plywood. So after I cut all the 2x4s to length, I used my circular saw to rip the particle board down to size. I usually use a guide to cut full size sheets like this, but since this is just a workbench, I just marked my lines and freehanded it. Next I assembled the frames. So this whole workbench is basically just four 2x4 frames all put together. I lined the boards up, checked that they were square, and then attached them together with two and a half inch screws. I just repeated the same process for both of those center frames and then for both of the collapsible wings also. Once I finished up all of the frames, I attached the legs to the center frames. At first, I tried to attach them while I was working on my workbench, but I couldn't quite get enough force to hold the legs tight to the frame, so I ended up moving to the floor and just used gravity to help out a little. I lined each leg up with the outside corner of the frame and then used three two and a half inch screws through the leg into the frame to attach it. So I attached all four legs to one frame and then all four legs to the second frame and that makes up the center, top, and bottom shelves for the bench. So I didn't realize until later, but one of the screws I used in each of the legs to attach it to the frame happened to land right where the bracket needed to sit. So what I did was I just removed that screw, measured and marked and lined my bracket up, got it all ready to go, and then used that two and a half inch screw and just drove it through the bracket and the frame. So the top screw in each bracket is the two and a half inch screw. So it's holding both the folding bracket and the leg to the frame. And then I used one and a quarter inch screws to attach the rest of the bracket. I used small washers along with each screw since the pre-drilled holes in the folding brackets were almost larger than the screw heads. Once the brackets were attached to the frame, I attached them to the wings. If you use these folding brackets, you'll need a little bit longer bit to drive the screws, so I just used a 6 inch one and it worked great. I lined each of the brackets up just a quarter inch in from the edge of the legs so they're centered then in the frames for the wings. And again, I just used small washers and one and a quarter inch screws to attach the brackets to the frames.
Then I flip the whole thing over to attach the locking casters. You could also do this before attaching the wings, but it doesn't make a huge difference. It was still easy enough to flip over even with the collapsible wings already attached. And the last step was to put the tabletops on. So I just put each tabletop on its frame and then use screws in each corner to secure it down. You can go ahead and countersink the screws if you want a perfectly nice flat surface. I went with the 12 inch folding brackets even though each of those collapsible wings is actually two feet long, but after using and testing this workbench, I'm not at all concerned about the capacity. They're plenty strong for this workbench. If you're concerned about it, you can get bigger brackets or you could make the wings a little bit shorter. And lastly, attach your saw to the workbench or just set it on the tabletop and you're good to go.